Okay, look at this question, guys. This question says that A borrows rupees X from B at six percent annual interest. He then adds rupees Y of his own money and lends rupees X plus Y to C at twelve percent annual interest. At the end of the year, after returning B dues, uh, the net interest retained by A is double of that accrued to B. On the other hand. Had a lent rupees x plus three y to c at twelve percent, then the net interest retained by him would have increased by rupees four eighty. If all interests are compounded annually, then find the value of x plus y. Okay. Now look at this question here, guys. So it says that basically a has borrowed rupees x from b. That means b has given b has given rupees x. Hey na. So it means that B has given rupees X to whom to A at at what percent at six percent interest. He then adds rupees Y of his own money. So now A has borrowed X from B, rupees B. Now A is adding Y. That means A is giving rupees X plus Y to C. Okay. So A is giving rupees x plus y to C, correct? And that he is giving at twelve percent annual interest. Okay. Now at the end of the year, after returning B dues, the net interest retained by A is double of that accrued to B. Okay. So at the end of the year, they are saying that after returning B dues, so when A will return B dues, the net in interest retained by A. So what is the interest retained by A, guys? See here. So, whatever A A has retained right now, okay. So how much A will retain? So A has A has given X plus Y, or uh, with twelve percent to C, right? So X this X amount he borrowed from B by at six percent. That means he is and he is giving this rupees X to another person C at twelve percent. That means his gain is six percent of X. Okay, and on this Y, he earned full twelve percent because this Y Y was his own money. So on this Y rupees, he will earn full twelve percent. Okay, so twelve percent he will earn on on Y. Y is complete money, but on X he cannot earn twelve percent because X he already bought from the other guy, uh, giving six percent to him. So if he if he borrows at six percent interest, right? So what he is doing? He is borrowing at six percent interest and giving at twelve percent interest. So net gain is six percent only, right? That's the point here. Okay. So A is is means equal to double of that accrued to B. Okay. So it's basically double that what he accrued to B. So with to B he paid six percent of X. That just double of that, right? That means twelve percent of X. Okay. So the money retained with him is equal to the same, or is is equal to uh, is double of that accrued to B. Okay. So with B, it was accrued six percent of X. It double twelve percent of X. This is this is the equation. So if you solve it, guys, you can see here that I can further solve this. Six percent of X is twelve percent of Y. Okay. That means. X will be equal to two Y. That was a good thing I got, right? Now on the other hand, had A lent rupees X plus three Y to C at twelve percent. Okay. So on the in the first part, X plus Y it has given to C, and now if he gives X plus three Y, that means X plus Y at twelve percent and X plus three Y at twelve percent. So X what is the extra amount? Twelve two y twelve percent of two y, correct right? है ना? So in the first case, he is lending money at x plus y to c at twelve percent. In second case, he is lending money to c at x plus three y amount at twelve percent. So difference between those two amount is two y, and twelve percent of that two y is different difference, and that difference is actually equal to four eighty. I can say that twelve percent of two y is equal to four eighty. I can find this equation here. Okay, so if twelve percent of two y is equal to four eighty, so I can easily solve this question, right? Okay, twenty four, na? So twenty four y upon hundred 
is 480. You can just cancel 20 times here. So y will be equal to 2000. X will be how much guys? So X will be equal to 4000. Y will be equal to 2000. The sum would be 6000. That's the answer. That's a good question. It was a decent question, right? Okay.